In this video, I'm going to show you how to place markers in IGSoft. When you have photos that are not geotagged, you don't know the coordinates of the photos. I already aligned the photos, loaded them and aligned them. As, I, as you can see here, uh, the reference is just X and Y. You first need to change it so it will show longitude and latitude. See, right now it's still empty. Uh, there are two ways of loading uh, or placing the markers. First one is to load it from external file. It's just a text file that will have columns with altitude, latitude, and longitude. Um, and you need to locate uh, where each uh, column is and you don't load the orientation. Orientation is just for photos. Uh, you click yes to all because you want to create new markers. And you can see here in the panel that they're in list. I already know where my markers are placed because I've been in the field so many times. So uh, there is no problem for me to just find a photo where my points are. I know which one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If there's a, your new place, you would just need to um, uh, look carefully for the photos. So it's what I did. I right uh, clicked on the spot when I want to place the marker and I selected here place marker selected the right number and if you placed it already on two uh, photos you can filter photos by marker and the Agisoft will estimate where on each photo where uh, this uh, marker is you need to go through all of them that have this little shadowy a flame and uh, place them exactly at the, in the middle of your point um, and need to go through all the photos and do it manually uh, then you can move to a next uh, next point uh, sometimes it's it's difficult to think like which photos will be uh, showing your uh, your point so we can switch to model and you can just uh, see the overview of your field here is the uh, marker number six. You can see here highlighted our photos and I will just select the area that I assume uh, that the um, marker will, will be. And I can see here, yep, here it is. Here is the marker number 12. So I place it and I do exactly the same procedure as I did before. Uh, I need to find another photo that will have the same uh, point GCP okay here it is um, also I point in the middle as accurate as I can uh, and then I can filter uh, f filter all the photos by marker here they are in order back to see all the photos you click this little icon um, that, that removes uh, the filter but there is another option that you don't have the file. You need to place the markers manually. So the same thing. You look for the photos that you know uh, that you assume that will have a marker. You go through the photos. Um, yeah, here is my the easiest one to locate um, next to this uh, roof. Yeah, this is the number six. So I find it and instead of placing the marker, I just create a new one. I create a new one and um, it appears here I can rename it so we'll know exactly that this is mine and then I can enter manually from file from your GPS from whatever what's the longitude and latitude I just put here I could, um, an example um, yeah and you also put the accuracy this is a default uh, and the uh, altitude and then you do exactly the same thing. The second, if you find the point on the second photo, you don't create it. You already place the marker that you've created. And then you can filter it uh, by the markers again and do the same. Each On each photo, you need to locate uh, where, the, uh, where the GCP is. And here it is, another one. I would like this to create the UAV12. So I'm looking at the photo. Here it is, uh, create a marker and then on, uh, rename it and then